Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, I'm going to be showing you some lo-fi hip-hop style music production techniques I like to use. We're going to play through a demo track. I'm going to show you how I create these different effects. And yeah, hopefully you'll, you'll learn something interesting. So here we go. And sort of the track just fades out from that point on. Um, but I wanted to do a video about this because transitions in lo-fi hip-hop style tracks are really creative and fun to do. But a lot of times people just don't know where to begin with them. You know, what do you use? What plugins? What techniques do you use to create cool transitions? The one that you heard in this video is using a sample pack I created. You can find a ton of free stuff on my Gumroad store. A link is in the description below. But basically, I'm using a couple of select plugins to create the tape stop sound, uh, which is basically simulating the sound of analog gear that's stopping, which doesn't stop on a dime like digital gear does. The motors slow down, the tape slows down, or the vinyl slows down, and the pitch slowly drops. And this is really useful to create a transition style effect that's kind of clever. I can isolate this effect by just soloing the tracks that are in the intro of the track and you can hear what this is happening or hear it happen again. Here we go. So it's a cool transition. How I do it is using a couple of specific plugins. Uh, we can check out the first one right here. I used a reverse style sample that I created myself. I took a piano threw it through a delay, then resampled it, reversed it, and then put on these plugins here. Um, to create the sound that you hear there, I'm actually using a free plugin. Uh, this is the VHS uh, plugin. It's used through Reactor. So if you own Reactor already, maybe you bought Native Instruments Complete or you just bought Reactor itself from Native Instruments, this is a free plugin that's available with the community. I use this for the saturation and the chorus, and it has a great mic emulation feature here. But the actual sound of it stopping and sort of dropping in pitch, which you can hear happen right here, is done through automation. The great thing about Ableton Live that a lot of people even who have been using it for a while don't realize is that if I hit caps lock A, I've basically engaged the automation screen in Ableton, which is really clever because then you can click on virtually any plugins you have, whatever parameters are there, and you can automate all those parameters just by clicking and then engaging the automation lane. If it's a dotted line, it means you haven't written anything there. Um, in this case, I'm using the pitch and formant on little Alter Boy, which is just a pitch change plugin. So really any plugin that does pitch change, and then I just drop them off right on the downbeat, uh, third downbeat of the measure before we go into the new section of the track. And it just creates a cool, um, pitch change effect that sort of simulates the sound of tape slowly stopping. So it's a cool sound in combination with the fact that it's a reverse uh, sample. So it's basically sort of like a riser, um, just creates a little bit of uh, dynamic energy and then a real cool drop away. And I basically do the same thing uh, with the intro sample. So this is a sample I put together in my sample pack. It's a bunch of guitars that are processed together using some analog gear, some digital plugins to create a nice sort of compilation track. And you can see here, when it does its own drop away, I'm actually using the automation arm of this plugin, this is Tape by Softube. It has a run stop feature here. A lot of the tape plugins or vinyl plugins that you see will have some kind of run stop feature. And the thing about Ableton is it's so easy to automate this parameter. So that's essentially what I'm doing here. Whoops, I just got to re-enable the automation. So I'll re-enable it and you'll see it in action now on your screen. I'll just solo the track so you can hear it more clearly. So you can probably see that, I'll just play it again. Yeah. 
So by hitting stop, it simulates the sound of uh, the tape stopping. There's a lot of plugins out there, some of which you probably already own that do this type of feature. Um, just basically look for any kind of analog style plugin. Another one is Waves Abbey Road Vinyl and go down to the bass guitar track. Uh, you can see this is actually the plugin that I'm using. So I have the Waves Abbey Road and I've just automated the play stop feature. So I'm gonna solo the bass. And what I love about doing this on bass is that the bass already has a low pitch in terms of the notes usually being played on a bass guitar or bass synth. So when you automate the stop feature on that area, it creates an even cooler sound because it's just going to like a sub frequency. You can see here where the automation comes in is right when I hit a sustained note in the sample. Um, it's just gonna create a really cool sound. Uh, so check it out. I'm gonna solo this track and you can hear it here. So it kind of goes boom, <laughs> like really, it really sounds like it goes low. So something that you might not have considered, check out the Ableton's automation features, check out any of your plugins that they have a tape stop or a vinyl stop feature on them. And just in general, mess around with automating the parameters on your plugins to create interesting effects. Um, if you find this video useful, you can check out other videos on my channel about lo-fi hip hop music production and just music production in general. I've got a Gumroad store with a link in the description that has a ton of free stuff in it. So check the link out, see if there's anything there you wanna use. And yeah, good luck, have fun making music.